Alright, hey guys, it's your friendly neighborhood fun with AJ here again today. And today we are going to do an EDC uh, improvement of one of my favorite pens that I've heard about uh, modification for online and on YouTube. But I thought I might do a little different video. So this pen is by Zebra. It's called the F701. Hopefully you can see that here. This pen is called the F402, comes in a two pack, this comes in the two or one pack, I got the one pack, and this is, let me zoom in, the Fisher Space Pen, pen Medium Point Black Ink Refill. This Fisher Space Pen writes upside down in water, on any surface, over grease, Extreme temps upside down. It's used by NASA. Um, so what I'm going to do it <clears throat> is an EDC modification to this F701. I'm going to... So the one good thing about this pen is it's steel. But it's not all steel. Um, there is plastic inside. Then here you'll notice this black end with black tip there. You can see that. However... This F402 has a steel end and brass with tip. Actually, there's a little black in there, if you can see that. But otherwise, it's all steel. So apparently, you can move this onto here. It involves taking one of these, taking it apart, putting it in the freezer so you can break the glue on the end of the clicker here. Because it's glued on tight, unlike this one, which just screws. And then heating it up really quick to loosen the glue and expand the steel. Then moving those components to here to make this all steel. And then this part goes in here by, there's a little plastic piece right in here. You pull that out, you expand it and make it wider. And that's it. So I'm gonna try to record some of this process for you guys. Okay guys, first thing I did was I unscrewed this lid. I took out that old refill right over here. Ink refill. Took off the spring, and this is my space pen refill right here. Put the spring on. Like so. Stuffed it in. Like that. Screwed it tight. Started coming out uh, stiff. They say you're supposed to remove the plastic tip, but I did not. Instead, I decided to make it wider myself manually, so I just went like this, pushed it all the way through a couple times, and now it works. It's a little stuck, but I'm happy with it. I can also cut the tip if I want with a razor blade. Also, I unscrewed this. If I'm waiting for my F401 to freeze. So I've had the pen in there for about 20 minutes. I got a little torch. I'm gonna try to light it. I don't want to ruin the pen though. But this is what you need to do. People do it longer than that, but we'll see. I'm turning it. So this didn't work. I don't think I had it in there long enough. I'm gonna have to go even longer. One thing also to note, guys, I don't want to destroy the F401 because I want to make that a Franken pen. So keep that in mind. Um, that's why I'm not trying doing too much heat on it. Okay, guys, this is approach number two with loosening the F401 uh, clicker. They also said if you don't want to destroy the pen, you can boil water. So I'm gonna freeze it and then boil it. And by boil, I'm gonna pour boiling water on it for a couple minutes, see what happens. Let's try. Guys, I did get it off. So option one, I tried uh, kitchen flame. This guy, like a barbecue kitchen flame. That blue flame there didn't work at all. Um, next option I did is I boiled the bottom of the pen for like 30 minutes, standing up. That didn't work at all either. 
Next thing I did, in three, I took my Zippo lighter I bought for like 20 bucks, maybe 15 bucks. Uh, this, you can refill with butane and refill the wick. I took that and I left this in the, um, I left this in the freezer for, I don't know how many, uh, probably like two hours instead of 30 or 15 minutes like everybody recommends. Lo and behold, I just screwed it off very easily with the oven mitt. Already got the space pen refill in my, uh, what is it? F701. All I did was pushed it through here tighter a couple times. I didn't take out the plastic tip. It's right there if you see it. I screwed this back in. And look, works like a charm. Uh, this is the plastic end, which we want to replace now with this one. I haven't decided if I want to keep this F701 branding or keep the non-branded pin from the other one. Um, one thing I notice, the non-branded pin, it looks like, I don't know if you guys can see in the light, it looks like it has a more bluish tint rather than stainless steel. I don't know, we'll see. I think I might take the non-branded one. Well, another thing to notice, guys. F701, getting that nice edge, flat. This one's very rounded. Let's get that little pin. I don't know, I guess it could be debatable about which one is better. I think it just comes down to preference. I don't know what I'm gonna stick with, I'm a little conflicted. So there's the plastic tip from the F701, out. And here is the new, much heavier brass tip. Oops. And I just popped out the button, which is fine. It's just a clicker. Now, I've heard people had problems screwing this into the S701. Heard it takes extra effort. Let me see how this looks. I don't like that. I'm going to try this now. This is what it... Oops, I keep popping out that button. Something to note, guys. Also, there's a spring from the F401, which you might want to change. There's a 701 spring. 401 spring. 401, 701. I think I'm going to take the spring from the 401. Actually, it's pretty identical. I'll keep the 701 spring. Let's see. I'm going to try to see if there's any... No... Okay, so this 401 spring is definitely less uh, strong. It might be purposely because it's brass, and or maybe because I heated it and froze it. Who knows? I'm keeping the 701 spring. I like a stronger spring in my pen. I think I'm going to keep the 701 uh, pen clip. I know you can make like a dual branded 401 with your leftovers. I don't know if I want to do that. And here's Judgment. So it's screwing in very easily for me. People said they had problems. Oh, wait. Maybe I will. Yeah, it's very... Guys, I am just screwing it in. Also saw in videos that people have problems with the last bit on the threading. It's working for me. Could have kept the branding away, but I don't really... I don't like that rounded edge. Some people do. I don't. Okay, so this is where I can see people have problems. So I need a grip just to tighten that more. We're getting there. Can you guys see all this? I'm like pushing hard. I don't want to strip anything. That's a problem. So I don't want to really scratch my new pen. Okay guys, I got it in. I'm going to try to get it tighter. Because I feel like it's still a little loose. But look at that. Pretty good. I'm going to click. It's got a really strong click. I like that. Sounds thick. It's heavier. I wouldn't say twice the weight, but it's heavy. So that is the S701 All Steel Mod with a space pen insert. Most people 
take away the F701 branded and use the F401 branded one. I didn't like the roundness. I do like that squareness. So I'm not doing that. I also don't like that little, I like that better than the little ball. See that difference? So this may not be the, the best video ever for the F701 uh, mod pen with the space insert and all metal clicker. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Just so you guys know again, it took me three tries to get the clicker out of this, the original one, the F401. So I heated it up with a grill lighter. I, it didn't work. I did that for 20 seconds after freezing it for 15 minutes. Second thing I did was boiled it for about 15 minutes. Just the end, I stuck it in water, it didn't work. Um, and then the third thing I did was freezered it for about two hours, hour, two hours. And then I used the zip lighter, stuck it in the blue frame, flame for 20 seconds and it finally came out. And that's what it did. It melted that so that it broke the sears. I mean, the bad thing is you have a wasted F402. The good thing is you have parts. If you ever want to do another experiment, all these parts. And you also have the fully steel F701. Curious if I can get it any tighter. I'm going to work on this more, guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up um, down below. If you didn't like it, go ahead and give me a thumbs down. I'm sorry you didn't like it. Um, I work, you know, full time, so this is just a little hobby. Um, and until the next time, guys, it's your friendly neighborhood fun with AJ. Please subscribe. If you like my content, I'll make more EDC type videos as well and watch videos. Till next time, guys.